Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Have you ever wondered what other people really think of you? You know, I went through a part of my life once, I really, really was concerned about that. And as I have developed kind of a high profile in what I do, no matter, you know, where I am, some people sometimes recognize me because I'm on television a lot, I have a wide practice, I work with a lot of people all across the country all the time, plus, I've been doing this for about 30 years. So a lot of people can form an opinion on me. And I used to worry about that all the time. And I had a very wise person, one of my mentors, tell me, Gary, you really have no control what other people think. The only thing you can do is know yourself and know whatever they think is pretty much none of your business. And that's also one of the things I want to convey to you today. No matter who you are, one of the things I hear here all the time when people talk to me or email me or call me or even come into my office to see me is they're so concerned about what other people think that they are ruling their lives based upon what they think other people are going to think about what they're doing. And honestly, that is ridiculous. You have no control over what other people think. In fact, you could jump through all the correct hoops and do everything absolutely correctly and completely be bypassed on a job promotion, have somebody think that you are manipulating the situation, have somebody think that you're a bad person and have ill intentions, or you could do everything wrong and be doing all of those things and somebody could think you're really good. So. What other people think of you is pretty much none of your business. What I want you to get out of this today is this. If you know who you are, and you, really that's one of the greatest things we can learn, is figure out who we are. And that's a full lifetime endeavor, that alone. I'm still learning who I am. And boy, I tell you what, I get surprised all the time. And I learn things about myself that I had no idea was true. And you hear a lot of people talk about living an authentic life. And what that really means is be true to yourself. And that is not selfishness. Be true to yourself. Because the more you are true to yourself, the more you're going to meet not only your own expectations, but you're going to reach your potential. And that's the whole idea, isn't it? To be the best us we can be. Even as Oprah says, live your best life. So today, I want you to ask yourself, what can I do today to start living my best life? And it's not going on vacation. It's not quitting your job. It's all right here. It's an attitude that you take today. And one of the first things you can do is quit worrying about what other people think about what you're doing and just live your best life true to yourself and be authentic. And what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot better life. You're going to have a lot more fun and you're going to find life is going to be a lot easier and you're going to do a lot better job at whatever you do. So remember, what other people think of you is none of your business. Live your best life by being true to yourself Focus on what you want rather than what you don't want. And today, I want you to start on that journey right now. Right now, because every journey starts with one footstep, and your new footstep is going to take you to the authentic you. And what anybody else thinks, who cares? They're not living in your moccasins, and you're not living in theirs. You can only live what you accomplish, what you think, and what you do. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an authentic life. Until then, bye-bye.